What's good you guys? It's Lifestyle from LifestyleDidIt.com and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you guys how to add melody to your chord progressions. Um, I just released a video going over how to make chord progressions in under a minute. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's going to help you out. Really simple uh, technique that I show. And a lot of you guys wanted me to do a video explaining how to add melodies to chord progressions. So we're going to get into that today. Let's get it. It's another secret. You're going to learn how to do it quick. Let's go. Let me put the headphones on real quick. You know what I'm saying? All right. So if you did watch that video, uh, this chord progression is going to look very similar to you because it's the same exact chord progression that I used in that video. So the first thing you want to do when getting to adding a melody, if you want to make it very simple, if you don't know theory or you don't know how to play piano very well by ear, a quick cheat. We are going to go to Google and we are going to type in uh, key signature finder. And we're going to go right here. And this is going to let us know what key we're in. You're going to see in a second how this all makes sense. It's a really cool trick. So we go in here and we see, you know, from the chord progression we made, we have C, D sharp, G. We're just going to plug these in. So we're going to go here, uh, C, D sharp, G. So put this here, C, D sharp, G. What else do we have? Uh, we got an F right here and an A sharp. So we're going to add F. We're going to add A sharp. And I believe that's basically all the ones we used. Did we put G and G sharp too? No. So we're going to put G sharp. Um, and then we're going to hit find me a scale. It's going to give us a scale. That easy. All right. So it says the D sharp uh, uh, major scale. So we're done. So we're going to go into FL and we're going to go to ghost notes right here. So we know we're in D sharp major scale. So we already kind of have our ghost notes right here, but if we look at this, we have every single note that's in this scale. So we're going to do G sharp, F, G, uh, G sharp. So let's go in here. So we'll put a D sharp. Um, and this will make sense when I finish. Uh, I keep forgetting what do we have. F, G, G sharp. So F, G, G sharp, um, A sharp, C. A sharp C, D, and D sharp. So this is the scale that we have, right? Make sure I'm correct. C, D, D sharp. Yep. So these are basically going to be ghost notes. So as you can see, we have ghost notes right here. If you don't have that enabled, I believe you go to view and somewhere in here, uh, it shows show ghost notes. Um, I don't know where it's at exactly. Actually, I think it's right here. Yeah, it is. Helpers and ghost channels. Boom. So turn ghost channels on and you'll get these little white markers. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, control, right click to select them all. Hold shift, right click, and then hold control and go up. So now we added another octave and we're going to do that same exact thing again just in case we want to go higher. And then we're going to add another one down here. So we're just basically, this is all the same, but this is just uh, our chord progression. And then when we get to D sharp, here we go up another octave. So it's just octave. So you can, just in case you want to play higher chords and whatnot. So all we're going to do is take these and stretch them all the way out. And go back here. And you can see I have it muted and turned all the way down, right? But when we go over to our chords... Now we have all these little lines. So now you'll know you can't put a note here or here or here because it's going to sound wrong. So with our chord progression now, we're just going to add notes to it. That simple. We know what we're doing. So uh, this is all going to be off top of the head. So it might take a second, but let's just see, you know, what sounds good. So we'll just pick a random note off here. All right. Let's go with uh, C, and we'll extend this over. This is all, like I said, random, just coming up with melody just off this. This is not playing keys, super simple technique. So let's see, I want it to go like dun, 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 dun. And then we'll add 
add like a little jump right here. You'll see what I'm saying. So we're going to zoom in and we're going to put one here and then go to uh, third step and we'll just move this over one and it's going to give it that uh, like bounce like this. Let me see. Like that kind of bounce. Whoo boy! See what I'm saying? It gives it that little bounce. So if you want to do like those little Zaytoven bounces, you know, those little um, scale runs if you're coming down. That's on the piano um, that I'm playing right here. Uh, but, you know, if you want to do the runs on MIDI, that's how you would program it. So let's get some more in. like some other higher ones. Let's just see what sounds cool. Let's, you know, just play around with it. Let me turn this up a little bit so I hear what's going on. So we'll extend this one out. Create little runoffs, you know, if you want. All right, and then we'll extend these out so that they reach each other. And then another thing, you know, you kind of want to do, so let's say we have this, you know, figured out. So we'll just play it. Um, is go in here and you know make it uh, humanize it kind of so there you can see all these notes are like the same velocity um, they're all play, uh, played you know because we programmed it it's perfectly on um, the grid so we're kind of want to go over here you know shift some of these around and make it less uh, programmed and it's actually going to give it you know a completely different feel to it it'll make it feel more of like a human feel this is kind of just uh, you know randomly doing it but you can get in here and go crazy with it you know make things off because you know when you play it it has a natural uh, tendency for things to be louder softer uh, not to be perfectly on key and it gives it more of like a real piano feel especially if you're not gonna change this to like a synth if you're just gonna keep this a very strict piano uh, you kinda don't want it to sound unless you do but you know if you want it to sound like a real piano everything's not gonna be played very stiff it's gonna be played more like you know, uh, you wouldn't play the chord progression like, or the, the melody, like, if you play it more like, it sounds more authentic. Uh, another trick, you can come in here, hold control, right click and select all your melody and hit alt R and it's, what that is, is randomizing. So it randomizes the velocity. So we'll do accept and we'll do it again. And you can go in here and check all this out and do, you know, whatever you want, but I'm just, uh, just adjusting, can't speak. Um, velocity which is right here so it's kind of just turning it down and I just do that a couple times and you'll see if you look at the bottom I don't know why I just point at the screen when you're looking at the screen what? Uh, you see it adjusts right right there so we press play and now it'll be different so it sounds especially on something like this uh, you would want you know it to be a little off you can go in here and select these and do whatever but like I said it's that easy, you know. I'm trying to make this as easy as I can for you guys. I don't personally do this uh, because I would rather play it, you know, by ear and on the keyboard. It's just more of a feel to me. But uh, when I started, you know, to learn my scales and whatnot, I did do this trick, and it's a really cool trick to use. So if you didn't see how I made the chords, go ahead and check out that video. I'll leave a link in the description uh, explaining how to make chord progressions uh, in under a minute. Super simple. And then you could check out this video after 
you'll know how to make chords and you'll know how to make a melody over the chords and you'll be able to make your beats even faster. Um, so like I said, you know, if you guys have any other videos you would like me to do, leave a comment below. Uh, I do cover them all like I covered this one because it was a comment in the last video, you know what I'm saying. Um, other than that, thank you guys for subscribing and leaving comments, likes. Let's keep building the channel. Uh, if you want to catch me on every social media out, you know, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, on here, Twitter, it is at Lifestyle Did It. And my website, if you want uh, beats, mixing orders, uh, website design, anything, hit lifestyledidit.com. Other than that, thank you guys. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the family. Thanks.